What's up, Yu-Gi-Oh players? Alex here, aka 95 bringing you guys another video. This is going to be another first place deck profile. I'm having people send me their Yu-Gi-Oh Day deck profiles, uh, and I figure this would be something fun for you guys to see. Uh, I'm pretty much just only taking first place deck profiles. I'll try to have a, pretty much one to two deck profiles every single day, and uh, this is the first one that I'm doing outside of mine. If you guys haven't seen my first place deck profile from Yu-Gi-Oh Day, go check that out. I'll probably link it down in the description as well as on my channel. I highly recommend it. Uh, so yeah, this this is another first place deck profile. I'll probably have the person's name or something along those lines, or I might just have first place and then the you know the deck profile name. But this is Star Seraph uh, traps uh, trap tricks with hands. So uh, we're gonna hop right into it. He runs uh, three trap tricks from Emilio, one Dianea, the standard trap tricks engine, three stick and three chairs, the Star Seraph engine. Uh, obviously, just adds a lot of combo pieces. Double hand, uh, two of each hand, one fire and one ice hand. Three Assault Halberd, and I think this is a, a huge contributing factor to why this person ended up winning their Yu-Gi-Oh! Day. It's a very aggressive card, opens up a lot more rank 4 combos, uh, and just I think it's a very unique card. And, and it's a big 1800 beater, so Assault Halberd is a very underrated but a very good low-key card that some players are utilizing right now. And I think that's one of the biggest reasons why this deck had success, so uh, props to him for using that card. Uh, for the spells, you're on one Soul Charge, one Regeki, one Book of Moon, double Duality, and triple Upstart. Definitely some solid consistency there. For the traps, you ran one warning, one emptiness, one torrential, one bottomless, one time space trap hole, and double trap tricks tra uh, trap hole nightmare. I don't really agree with the time space, um, and I don't necessarily or particularly agree with double trap tricks trap hole nightmare. Uh, I probably would have ran a third fiendish chain, but obviously it worked well for him. So uh, yeah, he, he. I mean, they're searchable cards with trap tricks from Romilio, and it gives you some options with Dianea, so that you know they're there when you need them. Double mirror force, double call the haunted, double fiendish chain, and double breakthrough skill. For his side deck, he ran one Flying Sea, one Twister, three Mystical Space Typhoon, another Time Space Trap Hole, double Chaos Trap Hole for Manju, Senjus, Denko Sekas, etc. Uh, double Shadow Imprisoning Mirror, double Imperial Iron Wall, three Mind Crush, and then for his extra deck, he ran one Rhapsody and Berserk, one Cowboy, one Dweller, one Exiton Knight, one Gagaga -ga -ga Samurai, one Heartland Draco, double Castell, one Silent Honor, one Karn Gorgon. Uh, the, basically, the, the combo with... Uh, Ptolemaeus Diamond, uh, Delteros, and then he obviously ran one Ouroboros, and the last card being a, uh, a whatchamacallit, a Pleiades. So he's able to do the Pleiades, you know, the, the, the pleiades Ptolemaeus combos, I mean, that's pretty standard. Um, and he has those as options, all the rank 4 options there. Uh, I'm not necessarily too sure about Double Castell, but uh, I guess it worked out for him. So that's the deck. Let me know what you guys think of this other first place trap tricks, Assault Halberd, Hand, Star Seraph deck profile. It's kind of a mixed match, cacophony of a type deck. Uh, I mean, it's interesting. I mean, it did well. I, obviously, this person got first with their Yu-Gi-Oh! Day. I don't know how competitive their locals were. But congrats to this individual. And uh, yeah, uh, I'll probably have more first place deck profiles or just in general deck profiles in general uh, for from Yu-Gi-Oh! Day the last couple days. So uh, yeah, if you guys are interested in seeing those, drop a like on this video. Uh, comment down below. Check out my Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook fan page. All that stuff down below in the description of this video. I'll catch you guys out tomorrow. Let me know what you guys would like to see outside of that. Um, and I'm trying to do like a little bit, maybe add in some thoughts. I don't want to just do the straight up deck profile. Obviously, I'm trying to give you guys, um, you know, some thoughts here or there on certain choices um, that I maybe agree or like or particularly find interesting in certain decks. And uh, and this deck was obviously the fact that he ran multiple engines, win for consistency. And, uh, you know, the Assault Halberds were in here. And I thought that was just very, very cool. So, uh, again, congrats on this individual. I'll catch you guys out tomorrow. And remember, duelists, limits, like fears, are often just an illusion. See you tomorrow, guys.